Hello everyone and welcome to the Mank Podcast, a very Manchester podcast brought to you by the people of Manchester, for you sitting at home, wherever you're watching, in Manchester. My name is Joe, I've got Steph Hello. and Tim with us. Hello guys. Are you alright? Yeah. Not yeah. bad, you know. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bit cold, cold but... are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be <laughs> you. And our very special guest is Danny Andrews. How you doing, mate? You alright? <laughs> clap. Yeah, clap. Yeah, clap. <laughs> Uh, are you okay, Danny? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You may have seen Danny from uh, First Dates fame, which we'll get into later on, because it's one of my stories of the week, because um, you, my friend, have caused a storm on the Mank website. <laughs> we'll get into that more details, but you probably recognise him. Do you recognise him? Yeah, you do. Uh, I am going to... No, I won't start off with Mank's story of the week. Tim, you should. Okay. mine leads into a wonderful chat with Danny. <coughs> so, Mank's story of the week is where we go onto the Mank's website, we see what the biggest stories are, and we talk about them. And we chew the fat, Tim. My story is about, I suppose what can only be described as a lunatic, <laughs> who uh, was pulled over in, um, what would you call it, a second-hand ambulance? I didn't know like, second-hand ambulances were, were a thing. Well, yeah, because you have people who, uh, who like, buy them and rent them out for film and TV, or oh. you can just buy them, like, decommissioned and, and use it as a van, but... This person had an ambulance and they were caught driving in Asda in Harper Hay with the lights on flashing. No. Drove into Asda, Harper Hay at 10 pm, and then a uh, family piled out and went in to do their shopping. No and way. then um, the police got called because uh, they were obviously bringing quite a lot of attention to themselves. Yeah. Lino, got arrested Lino. and the driver was banned from driving. And um, so he's had his, his ambulance and his. And he's driving well, his license away from gone, it. But he's had his ambulance taken. So the lights were still going. Do you not think, how would have thought when you saw them in ambulance, you get rid of the lights? Yeah, you'd well, have thought yeah. they'd been taken off. Would you? <laughs> there well, you go. So it's emergency. perfectly legal for him to drive without the, the lights? Yeah. I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. So but as soon yeah. as you put them on. But if you've got an ambulance, you're going to have to have yeah. the lights. <laughs> <laughs> you've got it. Yeah. You've got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 The kids will be like, come on, put the lights on, Dad. Put them on, put them on. I bet he's just a good dad. He's thought, come on, kids. It's locked down. Let's put them lights on. And poor guy's lost his license. <laughs> yeah, it's an emergency. Yeah, yeah. We need a McFlurry. Yeah. <laughs> it begs the question: Could you buy, you know, a fire truck? Oh. Mate, probably. You can buy a tank. There's a tank in Didsbury what? on the side of the road. It used to be like behind the pub. Have you Didsbury? seen the tank in, in Didsbury? No, but these no, are I'm ideas about. for my next car. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, a, a Didsbury, there's a Didsbury Facebook group, and it always used to be like, you know, people complain about parking on the curb. Like, yeah. I can't get a pram through. It's so selfish. Or well, this was like. They've parked up a tank on the on the side of the road. I can't get myself <laughs> through. Like that's, that's mad. mad. Yeah. Imagine if there's road rage between the tank and the ambulance. Just yeah. Yeah. In future time, yeah, that could have happened on the streets of Manchester. It could have booted off. Uh, well, there we go, Steph. What's your story of the I week? I mean, mine's not so much like that. Mine's actually about goats. So uh, I need yeah. to clap for goats. Then. Should we clap for goats? Bye. Do you like a goat, Danny? <laughs> I've never really thought never if I like a goat, a goat but. I don't dislike them. <laughs> that's not, that's going to be the that's hardest question I ask you today. <laughs> right, good. And you, and you've nailed it. You've nailed it. Cheers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, basically, um, a lady who owns a farm in Rosendale, yeah. she's um, getting people to, like, put her goats on Zoom so you can have their go her goats on your Zoom call. That sounds Business dirty, meeting. That. Get a Business goat meeting, on Zoom. Um, pub quizzes on Zoom, you know, because everyone's on Zoom at the moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So what, so a goat was just... Goats on Zoom, basically. Hashtag goats on Zoom. Hashtag goats That's on Zoom. So tell me again, sorry, because... Uh, so so are you with the goat on Zoom, or...? No, so it's from her farm. It's from their, their farm. She's recording it. Right. And then people just, like, pay to have them on their Zoom call. Uh, Business what? meetings, pub quizzes, all that kind of stuff. And do you know how much money they've made? How much? 50 grand. For charity, or...? 50. I'm actually Straight not in sure. there, anyway. She's got an extension. I think it can. <laughs> and a new ambulance out the back. <laughs> 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 that fella can't drive anymore. <laughs> the goat's just chilling. Do you know that? Do you understand that? What? Some woman's getting a goat out on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that only fans? Like that. Oh, that's how you said it. Is it the only, is that only fans? Fans? <laughs> no, no, no. Because people goat, are missing out fans. on the animals, basically. That's what she, that was the brains behind it. So she's doing a wonderful job. but Yeah, and people are like getting it in Australia, New Zealand, Canada. It's mad. She's gone global with the, with the goats. Does the goat do anything special or does he just make just noise? Just stand there, just go back. Crikey. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. So if I'm just, say I went to Zoom call my friend or the, yeah. I, was, I was a businessman and and a goat come up on it, I'd be like, I think there's, I think there's something wrong here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I wouldn't find it like hilarious, so I wouldn't pay money for it. Do. And he's like, mate, that cost me, I don't know, how much would you charge? How much is it? Do you oh, know what it's, it's a fiver. It's a, a fiver, fiver for 10 minutes. 
Ten minutes of a goal. Like, you're not going to watch it for ten hey, minutes. Tim, yeah. What's Tim's up, Tim? You're right. You're, 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 you're not interested in games, though, Danny. No, I'm not. Tim would do it. Yeah, yeah, that's the first like thing he's going to do when he gets out of here is <laughs> zoom a goal. Just, why have you been googling uh, in Rotterdam? Spent less than ten minutes. Right. I'm going to move on to my story of the week. No goats involved in this one, but over 4,000 people have shared it. And it is about that man there, Danny, being on first (laughs) dates. Danny, um, well, it does say fish and rice cake guy, because if I've not said yet, you may know Danny from viral fame. One of the first viral stars, (laughs) I think, ever. Are you going to say that? Charlie bit my finger and then fish and rice cake. Certainly in the UK. Yeah. Um, Because if you don't know, uh, I mean, Danny, how do you explain to people? Because you did explain it on the show. Right, well, I explain, like, the viral video. Well, I was in a... 2006, I was in a a BBC3 documentary. Yeah, 2006. 2006. And then, yeah, I kind of got, I kind of got away with it because at the time, I think there was like MySpace and stuff like that. There wasn't really like viral videos. Mm. Um, I did it. A couple of people were like, "Oh, that bit where you were said fish and rice cake was pretty funny." I was like, "Oh, yeah, no, bloody (laughs) hell." And then I, I sort of got away with it. And then, then yeah, about two or three years later, I just kept seeing my face everywhere. (laughs) Then everyone would be like, you're on the radio. I'd be like, oh my God. So I'd be like, I'd be at work and I could hear myself on the radio. I'd be cringing so bad. But honestly, it used to give me anxiety. And then people would like, People would be like, are you? And I'd be like, oh, no. The fish and rice. I'd be like, no. Yeah, it used to really, really, really get to me. And then, especially at the time as well, I was like, I was 16 and I moved out at 16 and it says, Danny uh, lives in a council flat and has plenty of time to train for the Mr. Cumbria show. So it makes me out to be a right tramp. But I was like, oh, no. I looked about 38 in, as well in the video. <laughs> I feel like Benjamin Button, I think I got younger. I looked about 38. Um, so people like, I just look like a, a bum, like a stupid bum as well. Like, yeah, and if you didn't know me, just judge me off that video. Yeah, you just think negative thought. Like, like when you read the comments, they're absolutely terrible. Yeah, don't, yeah, um, don't which I don't do now. I, do, I don't do. But yeah. since first date, so mm-hmm. I've been reading them comments. I've been loving them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, even yeah. the bad ones are quite funny. Someone went, um, how come the fish and rice cakes haven't got to his legs yet? <laughs> 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 it's locked down and I can't train, all right? <laughs> yeah. Tim, can we put a video in just in case anyone... Can we slice the video in? We, we, should, be able to we put, should be able to put it. I'm in. sure they'll find it somehow. We should be somehow. able to put a snippet of it in. Maybe a little after, snippet. In the comments, I think, I'm getting an indication that we can do it in the comments. Yeah, do it in the comments Thank because you, if anyone doesn't know, they catch up to date with, with what, uh, <clears throat> what it was, the video. So you were young and, and it was a video of you getting into bodybuilding and, and did that sort of stop? How, how yeah, 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 yeah. Um, at the time, I was, like, I was so into training. It was, it was my life where I worked at a gym Everything about my life was the gym, but I just, I didn't feel like I was going anywhere. Like, and like at the time, there was no, where I lived, there was no PTs or anything like that. So you couldn't go down. Do you know, everyone's like a PT now and they're making yeah. real good money. But at that time, I, I, I didn't see myself becoming a PT. So I just worked as like a gym instructor. It was like minimum wage. So then I'd become a barber. Then I've ended up like getting my own shop, having people working Amazing. for me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. As, that was at 16, 17. So as anyone, we all grow, don't we? And, and yeah. obviously I've, I've grown and like yeah. become a man and stuff. So it's kind of annoying that you get judged on a video when you were 16. Now I'm like 31 years old oh, and obviously God. I've got a house <laughs> and stuff like that. So when I, when I see that video, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Well, your more recent fame was uh, First Dates, wasn't it? Yes, and How yes. was that? Um, oh, I only did it, but like the girl who works for me, she uh, applied for me whilst we were working and she literally didn't even try. But yeah. I think all she put was, have you been on TV before? And I think she put, Fish and rice cake. So obviously, <laughs> they ring me and they want me on. Um, and and I, I was like, as long as we don't talk about fish and rice cake, so like, nope, 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 got there. Mm. All they want to talk about is fish, fish and rice cake. cake. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 I get yeah. it, I get it. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. But then because it was in lockdown and they, they, we, got, we got like a, a COVID test in the morning, I had to self-isolate yeah. in the, uh, the hotel and stuff like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. So because of, cause of, cause of COVID um, and lockdown, I think that's the only reason why I went. It was like the only chance to be normal, to drink, yeah. to eat food. So I was like, right. Let's let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so so I went, but I was because anything that I've ever done, which was that, I was scrutinised for, and negatively, I was so scared of really, and, and I was more nervous. You know, I'm nervous on a date anyway, but the fact I was on a date, and I was I was I was even watching the way I drank in case somebody yeah. had, had, had like comment on that because of all the negativity I've had with it. I was oh yeah, I was scared, but. It's actually turned out all right. So people 
uh, like me. <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's it positive. It's really yeah. good. A spoiler alert. If, you, if you've not seen it, maybe pause now and go watch the first date. Just going to take a little break from the podcast to tell you about today's sponsor. Revive Global, a Manchester-based company, have launched a COVID management solutions program called Helix, which is so simple to use. And it's for you, business owners across Manchester. You can just sign up now. There's going to be descriptions in below for Helix. Click on the link and you can go and keep your workplace safe. It's so simple to sign up. It's free to sign up as well. There is a professional uh, edition. It costs like £1.40, £1 to, to make sure you are keeping your clients, your uh, customers and your employees safe and sound. I want to thank you very much, Helix, for sponsoring this podcast, making this all worth it. Go and check them out. Go and sign up and go and be part of them, making sure you're moving into 2021 nice and safe. Now, back to the podcast. Because you went on another one, didn't you? I went you? on two. <laughs> 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 the other day. I wasn't, yeah. by the way. I oh, wasn't. Right. Yeah. When did you get it was told? all her. She's not her. here, so I can blame her. It was her. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get told you were going on a second date? Did you just know it was going to happen? I mean, no, like, no, after no, the date? Did... Um, as well, I was sat there for 35 minutes at the thing, so... They've obviously got me looking around, and I'm like quite a, like a personable person. Like at the bar before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So her date went to the toilet, so I've obviously mm. got eye contact. And if it was a guy, I'd have spoke to the guy. Like, like my nerves were up here. I was yeah, drinking. Yeah. I was like, <gasps> yeah, so yeah, you yeah, see, yeah, you had yeah. a good. <laughs> how many drinks did oh, you have before? Well, because we had to self isolate in the hotel, right? Oh no, you <laughs> drank. Yeah, I said I had five bottles, but I think I had about eight. Nine. <laughs> 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 No, <laughs> I, would, I would have been standing a, a beer, so it's equivalent of like four Why? pints, isn't it? <laughs> they were just like they were like the beer bottles, weren't they? So they're like the equivalent of like four pints. Yeah, but then, yeah. then obviously I was, I was there for half an hour, so I was getting Jaegers in as well, just trying to. Oh yeah, I was just Staying trying to get on a level. Yeah, I was just trying to get on a, on a level, and then at one point on the date, they stopped serving me alcohol. Oh, <laughs> no. I was like, can I have a can I have a beer? And then they were like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you a beer. And I was like. Yeah. If you're not going that, if you're not alcoholic. No, no, they, they come back with a water and, and then no I was like, way. right, I get it, I get yeah. it. So obviously, they're probably, what, they're probably monitoring how much I was drinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was always thinking yeah. that because they must have to to some extent. Yeah, of so course. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was so in, nervous. Like. Yeah. 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 Little questions of because uh, our first dates in Mint show, loads of first dates fans. Uh, how's the food? Is it good? I was that nervous and pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even taste it. <laughs> um, what did you have? Right. So the Here we first, go. the first is it a good menu? Is it a good right, menu? This is this is a, this is a good bit. Right, do you know what I had on the second date? And I've told everyone I f***ing hate fish. I had fish, right? <laughs> but it's in batter. I don't like seafood. I hate seafood. Yeah. I hate fishy fish. <laughs> but as well, I, I looked at the menu. And I didn't want to fuck up. I didn't want to say anything bad. I looked at the menu and it was like. It, was, it looked a bit like, I thought, if I read it wrong, I yeah. might be another meme. So I said, fish and chips, I went, fish yeah. and chips. Yeah. <laughs> and then I thought, Chip. shit, I said fish! <laughs> and then, but to be fair, I got all that nerves, I just ate a couple of chips, so. Yeah, just, so just the fish left just the fish. get left, left in it. I really? might have had a little, a little oh, I might have had a little sliver. A little yeah, but, you've had enough though. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not like a seafood person. I don't like, like I don't like fish, it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, fish, yeah. I think, in batter, it's not, it's not fishy, is it? Oh, I no. love seafood. So, so, on the, the, the video fish and ice, what fish were you talking about? Were you... Um, just white cod. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, did you cook that yourself? Yeah, so, um, yeah, but, but, right, the... so with that diet, it wasn't, I just didn't eat fish and rice cakes forever. Mm -hmm. it, that was when I depleted my carbs. So when you're a bodybuilder, you did deplete your carbs so much and then you carb up for like an, an, an effect. So right. I've been losing weight, like in, 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 like in phases, if you would. Yeah. So you keep bringing your carbs <laughs> down and then I started off with like chicken and so I could eat more protein i went to turkey because that's a bit cleaner than chicken and then I, I changed it to fish and then my 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 carbs i feel like this is gonna be another meme <laughs> no, it's not, it's not, it's and then not. and then um your carbs um i just brought it down and as long as my carbs were in the morning and then after training mm -hmm. um that's enough and then the, the least amount of carbs before you start like storing it's like 30 grams so yeah. then that worked out right just but i only did that for like a week uh, and then you carb up. So, right, yeah, so yeah, in yeah. my mind, you've got a rice cake and then the fish, and then it's like a sandwich. Like a sandwich? Yeah, no, you just... no, that'd be absolutely. It was uh, disgusting. I, I actually sm smelt a fish as well, to be fair. Oh, Do you know, because nice. imagine if that's all you're eating, I was in the gym and someone would go, just sweating for And I'd be like, that's like yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, I was single. I think, I, yeah, I was single back then. I think I was actually, I was actually a virgin back then as well. I was, I was in, and no wonder, who would want to have sex with fish, man? <laughs> did, you see how, did you see how I looked? <laughs> I looked and smelt like that, so. That is class. <laughs> oh. so, so when, back to first date, so when, when you know it's decision time, because what do they do? They just like go, right, 
All right. Decision so, time. I would always say, I told my mum this, I'd always say yes, no matter what. Unless she was absolutely horrible to me. Yeah. Like, I've got sisters and stuff, and I wouldn't mm. want anybody yeah. bad-mouthing my sisters. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If they're a pleasant girl, I'm going to say, yeah, I'll see you again and see what happens. I'm not going to say we're going to get married or anything like that. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, I said... I thought the, the first date was was worse than what how it looked. Right? <laughs> she was she was she was like it was it was hard. Girl, she was a tough she was a tough crowd. She was quite just really? she, she, she was like <laughs> she have a nose ring or yeah. a septum ring. Yeah. And she was a performer, right? Yeah. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was very headstrong. So like she made me nervous. Mm. She intimidated me. Oh, right. So I was like trying. So at the end of the day, I was like, yeah, yeah. I feel that I feel that we were getting on, and so I was like very like amicable, you know. And then she went. She went, nah. And I was like, oh shit. And then she listed, it didn't show you, she listed off a list of things she didn't no, like about she, me. Oh, that's the worst when they do that in the end interview. Yeah. And then I thought, like, you don't need to say know, that. Just say, I, well, I just say, thought to myself, can I go again? Do you yeah. know? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd just been nice about her. <laughs> and then she <laughs> got in on me. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then, oh, so yeah, it was. That's yeah. so funny. Uh, what I mean. And then, and then as soon as you have a go at each other, do you then go back to your seats? And I have to have that awkwardness. <clears throat> there was... Not really, but like... Were you I think, I think we, were back, we sort of like got... We were like, oh yeah, we'll meet up in the hotel, we'll have a drink, because nowhere else we could go. Yeah. So we met up, uh, really, I was pretending to be friends, but I was thinking, you she went in, she said she'd eat me alive. She didn't show that bit. <laughs> she said, she'd eat, what were, the, what were the bad things? She'd eat me alive, I drank too much. Um, True, that, you that that yes. I'll, I'll give her that one. We'll give her, we'll give her that one. I drank too much. What else did she say? I drank too much. I spoke. I'll eat you alive isn't a pleasant thing to say to someone after That's a date, scary. is it? Yeah. And then what, what she said, and then she said, right, she'd eat me alive. <laughs> what would you want? Oh. <laughs> and I spoke about like poo on a first date. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. But she asked me, why have you not got Snapchat? So if you ask me the question, I'll tell you the truth. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That, and I'm a 31 year old man, and I don't take like selfies. Do you know? Yeah. I do take the odd <laughs> selfie, but there's there's only so many you can send to your mates before they think this is weird, Danny. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so she asked, and then I, I told her, but she yeah, she didn't like me talking. She and she said. She had a date. She said, she said, she said, This is your moment, Danny. Yeah, she said, don't let him drop. I'm angry. Get it out. No, she said, by the third date, that would be acceptable to talk about poo. But not the first. But, but not the, the first. first. That's Get a lost. good judge of, of, well, of who you need, though. Do you know what I mean? Steph, when would you, you, you be use that as a, poo? a tactic for yeah, you? Yeah, but by the third date, I'm sure people do a lot more things than talk about poo. It comes up in conversation, though. You're talking about it. you, innit? Just be you, and yeah. You should be able to speak about anything. Just be you, just be poo. Yeah, yeah exactly. just be you, just be poo. That, that's <laughs> been your, weirdly your motto before you met Dolly. <laughs> uh, we'll talk more about the other day um, and a bit more about your tattoos as well because something quite funny happened. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I'm still getting oh over that, God. to be fair. I'm going to ring me mum after this. But we've, got a, uh, <laughs> we've got a couple of our regular features that we're going to need your help with. The first one is over to Steph. Okay, so we're going to get a picture up on the screen. <clears throat> Sometime... It'll well, come. basically, it's a picture of different chip oh. toppings. And basically, you can only save one. Only one topping. So you're picking chips and curry, <sighs> cheesy chips, chips and gravy, or chips and peas. <sighs> well, my go-to is chips, cheese and gravy. That's if I, that, oh, I mix them gonna together. It's going to be tough for you then, isn't it? <laughs> but obviously, <laughs> chips, it's, it's going to be it's just going to be gravy. Oh, is yeah, it going to be gravy? Gravy. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, sorry. Is not Go on, mate. Are you giving away? What you, is that what you'd have? Yeah. What well, you're keeping? Keeping. I'm keeping, keeping, keeping chips and gravy. Chips and of course. Yeah, of course. What are you keeping, Joe? I'm having chips and curry sauce. I think. Oh, that's, that would what, be my second. Yeah, Three versus one. Uh, Go on then. Chips and gravy all day. Chips and gravy. Yes. Boom. Who's all having chips and peas? No one. That's the, uh, no that's the joke maybe. answer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, is it? No if one. anyone picked that, then they just have to leave. A lot wrong. of people chose that in the comments, though. Get out. <laughs> didn't they? Didn't they? It's the oldies. It's the oldies. It's dry. Anyway, that's the end of that. Well, yeah. yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we'll stay on the, the, the food side of things, because that was on the Manx, wasn't it? It that was, was yeah. on there. So if you want to get your opinion, go to the Manx, Facebook and Twitter. But we're going to stay on uh, food, because we do something. Well, Tim does something. Yeah, it's time for <laughs> Snack, Snack of the, the Week. week. Bop, bop, bop. Snack of the Week. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it never gets old, this graphic. Get no, bop, no, no, no. The Bop Bops do, but no, the graphic So we've explained it to you already, but this is the Snack the snack off. We've right. each brought a snack right. and you're going to pick who has got the best snack. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it, I was looking at you thinking that's very rude, but it's actually <laughs> my fault. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think I it. actually took it. Do you know when I did it? I think I took it off silence. <laughs> Sorry. I did Don't actually worry. do it's it. Right. Yeah. That's your mum texting about this. Yeah, I've texted her. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, do you want to go first? Yeah. No, no. Can I go last? Yeah, sure. Am I going first? Yeah, go on then. Right then. So my snack. You know, I don't think you're going to expect this. It's a sweet. It's a sweet snack. Yeah. Sweet, it's actually new. New on the shelves. Oh. Easter. Premier. Easter. God, I hope I brought it with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> A Maltese's bunny, but the mm. orange. Oh, oh, that is pretty orange. tasty, isn't it? That's nice, that. I've yeah. been to Tesco recently. <laughs> have you had it? Um, we tried one. Yeah, peng. Let's get the reaction, come on. Really good. Have a bite. Do you want to have a bite? Yeah, go on. Well, yeah, I've already tried nice it. Bite. Well, well, Do you like a chocolate orange, Danny? Mm. Like, as in chocolate I like orange. the original ones. Oh. Of, of have those. you tried this one? Ooh. I've not tried the orange. I don't think, I think, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Not, not too sure. Yeah, I'll try it for you. Too sure. Do we take it? Oh, yeah. I can. I need you took a lot on. of that, didn't you? Yeah, it was a big, <laughs> big old bite. It yes. doesn't mess around. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you want me to go? Yeah, do I, no, I can go. I can go oh, okay. I thought yeah, that go was on funny, then. Oh, wow. Right, so, Danny, with you being here, um, I thought you might want to mix things up a bit. Right. Now, what I've got for here, you here right. is corn oh, cakes. No. Corn cakes? Corn cakes. They didn't have so rice cakes. No, they did, but I thought, Danny, might, you know, you, you might you have some rice cakes. These are gluten free, less than 1% fat, no artificial colours. But they're not rice cakes, they're delicious <laughs> corn cakes. Now, I know Tim's going to ask me to try a bite. I'm really worried <laughs> because Without it's dry as it might need some water. What yeah. did you have with rice cakes? Did you just eat it? Yeah, they were, they were like the reduced salt and. Um, oh. the, the, yeah, reduced salt. It was like cardboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> the, dust, the dust coming off that. that it's like I've been sat on a shelf for years. It's a bit dry, isn't it? <laughs> oh. How's your corn cake? It's good. Delicious. It sounds Delicious. appetizing. Delicious. Danny, they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't look like they are. <laughs> oh, very dry. Right. Now then. Oh, what's this? Danny, I know you like going to the gym. Right. Like a healthy snack on the go. Right. You need your protein. Yep, Range selling it. Guy. Yep. Oh, I've got you. <laughs> the grenade carb yes. killer. Peanut oh, nutter. This guy, man, like like peanut. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I do like the name, no, no, no. no. Danny, you see the thing is, like, see the thing is with Tim, he takes this section too far. He <laughs> researches the thing. Like, so I actually like. genuinely like the grenade bars, they're really nice. I looked at them all, and then there was like a whatever, cookie flavoured one. That's and a, I was like, he could be allergic to the peanuts, but I'll one. risk it. Yeah, they had that. Yeah. And I literally thought he could be allergic to peanuts, but I won't. <laughs> I'll risk it. He's jumped up. And I've let myself down. Neely, that, that could have been a winner. That would have been I a... I really thought yeah, I was on something so, there. So Danny, talk us through you. Could have been. What? You what? pointed at Steph already. I think it's, I think it's Steph. Have you won? Have you yeah. the corn cake? Third winner. I don't know. No, I'm offend, that offends me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm stunned. <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. That's a sure thinking. winner, that. That's a sure winner. <laughs> well done, I thought Steph. Really. maybe Thank if it was you. like a snacker jack. Do you know, like, the, the, like sure. salt and vinegar? Yeah, oh, exactly. not as bad. But they're, they're, like, even drier than a rice cake, I yeah. think. <laughs> I don't know why a bit, a bit more. I've got all <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he Can you put them away, please? You had corn cakes, right, actually. Now you've got corn cakes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well corny. done, Seth. Well, Thank you're you. three. Another win again. Three, winning winning the, three, two. We'll get a leaderboard soon. You nearly won, though. <sighs> yeah, but you failed. That peanut. was fake to get the wrong one, because I was going to win. Yeah, what? Peanut <laughs> nutter flavour. So, we're going to go back to uh, a story I mentioned earlier. Now, for the audio listeners, um, Danny's full of tattoos of different people, <laughs> of different characters, of famous people, of sports stars, of, you know, loads of different people. But there was a bit of an incident. Well, I'm, I'm lowering the tone a bit because it's not, it's not yeah. funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm sorry. a baby. It is. I'm still offended. One Everyone's of our producers. Shocked. She, uh, she was pointing out some of your tattoos, I reckon. She went, oh, what is that? Is that, is that one? Yeah, and she pointed at one. Oh, that was, where is it? On your chest? I wasn't no, here. No, so, so what it was, everyone was around me and they're all pointing out their like, oh, you've got like... Um, Who do you I'll, have? Who do you have? So I've got like, I'm, I'm full. I've got all like sorts. Greek mythology on one leg. I've got all my heroes on one arm. I've got um, science and space. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yep, science That's and space amazing. on this arm. Um, a monkey in space and evolution. And then I've got like t TV and film on this leg. Yeah. So no, it's like a Thomas Shelby. Thomas, Thomas Shelby. Shelby. Step Brothers, Will yep. Ferrell and... Step Thanks for your pursuit, each yeah. leg. You know, <laughs> there's, 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 a, there's a tattoo for, every, for everyone. Okay. So everyone's, oh, Will Smith and <clears throat> Conor McGregor. And she goes, Michael Jackson. And it was the only thing she'd said. And I thought... <laughs> 
I haven't got Michael Jackson on me. And I'm like, <laughs> and I thought, which one does she think Michael Jackson? And she, I said, which one's Michael Jackson? I could see her thinking, oh shit. <laughs> and, she, and she goes, uh, th that one. She points at the picture of my mum. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I said, that's my mum. And she goes, oh, uh, uh, it's good. <laughs> oh, it's good. So, so there, we've had a nightmare yeah, yeah, before the show. Yeah, yeah, but my mum's alive and stuff, because obviously that would have made it even worse. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. It was like the only oh. picture I had of her and it, it looked like Michael Jackson. Inside. Oh, but my mum doesn't look like Michael Jackson, um, maybe the tattoo of her does. <laughs> and I'm not offended, but it's funny. <laughs> it was so, great. cheers. In the, in the BBC Free show, uh, did you have tattoos then at that stage when you were a young bodybuilder? No, I didn't have any. No. I've got like an addictive personality, so I didn't have any till about five years ago. And I got one little one on my leg, and I thought, right, I'm just going to get a leg sleeve. Yeah, so yeah. I got a leg sleeve, and I thought, oh shit, now I've got a leg sleeve. <laughs> I'm just gonna get one arm sleeve on this side, mm. and then I'm just gonna get this side of my body, and then now I'm just covered. <laughs> just covered. But I've promised my mum, I said, not hands, I've got them done. I, said, I promised her not this on my face. Mm, okay, that's, yeah. why right. I, yeah. that's why I'm on. What? No <laughs> face, no neck. Oh, you've got, you've got one behind your ear, though. Yeah, that doesn't count, really. Yeah, it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. Back to first dates uh, number two. Because, I mean, listen, go and watch it because we were going to talk I'm about it because we've got it down here. We might as well. First date's number two. Did they just say, come back for another date? Yeah, they said. <clears throat> yeah. So because they got it, <clears throat> I felt so wrong. Um, they were like, right, we've got you. We know you'll like this girl. We've got you. My mates were like, maybe it's a, like a, a celebrity or something, right? And I'm like... <laughs> Well, they, they seem really eager to get me back. So it's like, they said we've got you the perfect match. So I was they like, didn't, <laughs> they didn't tell you it was. No, no. And to be honest, I didn't, I'm like that anyway. I'm like a nice person and like, I don't, I'll just speak to anybody. Yeah. So they, they made it out like when they've, they've, they've like, you know, we're cutting it to like mm. where we're looking at each other. And I didn't see that in my head. Yeah. Yeah. So I've just remembered speaking to her and she calmed my nerves down. So I kind of liked it. Um, <clears throat> but not in like a, a sexual way or anything. <laughs> so. I've gone back four weeks later. Four weeks, is it? Is it was four, four weeks, weeks, yeah. And then the, mm. the, the, the bar woman is like my type in look. She's a bit tall, but she's beautiful. And she starts, I get in there first, and <laughs> she's, the, 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 your, date's at the, uh, your date's at the toilet. So as the, the bar woman comes out, I'm like, oh my God, she's beautiful. <laughs> she, she puts her drinks, and then the, the girl walks behind, and I'm like, oh no, but not, not as in the looks thing, but I thought, I thought that was my, my yeah, type. Yeah, yeah. So then I thought, you know what? We might genuinely like get on and we did do you know like i really got on with her but she was 23 or 22 and i'm like nearly 32 so there's 10 years difference mm. and then i could tell so as soon as we started speaking we had a really good night um it was fun but yeah not someone i'd want to spend the rest of my life with so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then and then do you know when the tv sh the episode was going out do you do you speak to did you speak to her or did you drop so a message we never spoke like from that the, the date, we I think we never spoke, and then just on the run up to it, it was like, "Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous." And yeah. then, have you read the comments? I'm like, I've read a, <laughs> I've read a couple. I've yeah. read a couple, but yeah, that's class. Love that. Go and check it out. First dates. Um, so, do you, do you in in your everyday life does anyone recognise you? You have changed a lot since your your, your viral fame. Do people recognise you? So, no. But then, as soon as someone, when someone like say, Lad Bible or Mank Bible share an article, <coughs> I'll get that, like, work van's passing me, fish and a rice cake, Ray! And I'm like thinking, oh, shit, and I'll just carry on walking. And, do you know, I get, I get shit like that. But, not, but then now, because I've been on first dates, I've obviously been doing hiking, because I'm, like, on my own, so I've just been driving out, doing some hiking. I was up a mountain the other day, the only human I sent was a woman, and she was with a dog, like, this posh woman, she must have been about 60. She looked at me, she went, your first date. <laughs> oh, like, no. Yep. Yep. And that then, was me. Yeah, and now I'm putting petrol in. I see people like looking and thinking, <laughs> doubled up think, on oh, this, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's all positive. It's all I don't mind it now because yeah. I'm getting positive comments and stuff, which yeah, is really, yeah. really nice. Maybe yeah. the first dates will override the Yeah, yeah, hopefully, rice cake. hopefully. So yeah, I'm, I'm like overwhelmed with like all the, the like positive comments because yeah. I've just been used to bad ones so it's, it's nice oh, that's <laughs> no, that, that is really nice uh, so, so for you Danny everyone sees the, the viral sensation what is a day in the life of Danny like I know it might have changed but at the minute what you got going on just literally well <clears throat> obviously lockdown so not yeah. much yeah, but yeah. like normally I'm, I've, I'm a, I love a routine so it's just literally I'm a workaholic I work six to seven days a week Crikey. and then just because I'm, I'm a single guy and stuff and like literally 
go to the gym and then go 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 home. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. nothing exciting really. You mentioned your barbers. You've got you've got your own. Yeah, your got own my own barber shop. Yeah, in Preston. So yeah, and I just always yeah just working all the time. Nice. So, what's and that it, called? Give it a little plug. It's called Danny's. <laughs> Danny's. <laughs> <It's> simple. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then in lockdown, I'm just I've, I'm a man of many hobbies. Like uh, I've I've got into hiking, and the other day. Of Preston buy and sell. I thought I need a bottle, rab gear, <laughs> <Preston> Burgau's <laughs> boots, and then I thought I want one of them. Do you know them, them walking sticks as well? Yeah, just yeah, to look yeah. the part. I don't need them. I was like, right, yeah. I'm taking this serious, right? But I bought one, right? But I didn't know you needed two, right? <laughs> so I'm getting this picture, like with my walking stick <laughs> up a mountain. And my, my, where's the other one? I'm like, oh, I was wondering why it's cheap. I only bought one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even need it? I was like, not really. Yeah. It just looks good. They are helpful. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, so, so yeah, so I've been I've been walking and then um, playing guitar and what else? What song can you play on the guitar? All sorts. I've, I've uh, nice. so my my best friend's sister lives in Mexico. She's a guitar teacher, so she's just been like sending me loads of stuff. So cool. oh. Wonderwall as well, which is yeah. good. You can just get out when you're and pissed and everyone Wonderwall. can sing. Yeah. <laughs> and now Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. Class. I love that. Are you ready to do a little bit of Master Bank? Oof. This is a I'll competition. Try. We ask you questions about Manchester, but you do get the help. I mean, I'm not sure there's much help. Of Tim and Steph, who will help you. It's only five questions. I think they're all right. I think they're quite easy this week. But uh, are you ready to take on the Mastermind Challenge? I'm nervous. You've got this. Mastermind. You've got, this. got it. Okay. Come on. Here we go. I'll start you off an easy one. Gail Platt is in which UK soap? Coronation Street. Good tip. Come on! <laughs> yeah, I didn't even need you. This is a bit more tricky, this right. one. So you yeah. might help her. So we, yeah. You can phone either of us. Oh, I can, all right. You Any time you want. Right, right, right. What is the busiest train station in Manchester? Um, have I think. Dun, dun. What would can you I phone to? a friend? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got a lot of What's the other one? <laughs> What? She's not whispering to talk. It's a podcast. People are like, oh, right. I'm conferring. I want to pretend it's all me. We're going to go Piccadilly. It's correct. Yes! I wasn't sure if that was a trick question. No, no, no. You know, when you start second guessing yourself. Where do sail sharks play? Is it Salford or Sail? Salford. Correct. Yes! Trying to catch you out here, isn't he? He's trying it. Famous, famous. Famous musician said, Manchester's got everything but a beach. Oh, no. Who said that? Oh, Manchester no, has me, got everything so, is it, but so a beach. It's, oh, Manchester musician. Damn it. Yeah. So it'll be a famous Manchester musician. I think You'll I know. know it. Go on then, go on then. Phone, yeah. phone, phone, can, I, can I phone you? <laughs> Hello. Hey. hey. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> what <are> you wearing? <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ring you back. <laughs> right. Um, what, what Manchester... <laughs> Um, what? Anyway, back to that. Yes. I think the answer is Ian Brown. Ian Brown, right? Good, good answer. Oh, I don't know who he is. Um, Ian Brown. Ian Brown is good. Yes. We <laughs> nearly might have a full out here. Here's the last one. The Manchester Ship Canal. How long is it? Thirty-six miles or forty miles? What are you yeah, now? I think. Not I think time. you're gonna build one. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Right. This logic. This is logic. You're gonna build one. And it's 38, I think you're going to just round it up to 40. Just make it a bit longer. Yeah, just make it to 40. You can't, you can't just find two <laughs> miles. <laughs> you need to slow you, down at the end. Yeah. Oh, you just make it to 35, wouldn't you? Great, we've gone to the yeah. vault. I'm going to go 40. <laughs> 40. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, no, round it up. Two miles. Uh, but what if I got it right, though? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. At the final, eh? No. Oh, he's they didn't round it up. They didn't. Damn. They didn't. Never asked me. That you could have won them. Class. Love that so much. Oh, I need to get a Good at <laughs> Well done, everyone. Well done. <laughs> so, so Dan, did you like? Do you like the film experience? Do you like? You know, obviously, when you did your your, your first video. I mean, you were, what you sixteen, seventeen? Yeah, I was like sixteen into going into seventeen. Yeah. So, did they approach you, or did, did you get a sign up for right. something? So, I'm obviously a northerner. Yeah. And I get a phone call off a southern voice going, I, "I've got, I've got younger sisters." Hello, this is um, someone from the BBC. And I was like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> we would like to do a documentary on you. And I was like. Fuck off and then they, they ran up again and I was like I'm getting pranked and I was like Georgia are you ringing me here she was like no and I was like I said right I said if this is true because I didn't want to I didn't want to like I said if this is true I got I go to the gym at this gym at six o'clock every day coming this every one time yeah obviously so I'm walking up to the gym up this hill and someone's going down the hill there's a bloody TV there's a TV company at yeah, the thing well. for you I was like 
off. And I was like shitting myself. <laughs> I walked in, the guy, the, guy, the guy at the gym was like, I think I owed about two weeks, like two weeks, you know, to, to pay. And he was he proper nice to me. All right, Danny lad, yeah. you, get, your, get your gym t-shirt on you always wear. And I was like, what? There's a sound person who's been dead friendly to me. And I was like, oh, right, this is brilliant, this. And I was like, can I have a free tub of protein? So, yeah, of course you can. So I was like, we'll get all milk this shit. Um, yeah, so then, yeah so, yeah, so we did this, yeah, we did this, this documentary. And it was crazy because I didn't understand all this sound stuff. And my mates were asking like, what do you think of Thingy over there, I was like, she's all right, isn't it? You'd, you'd give her one, and then I'd look over at room, and she's like, I can hear you. I'm like, oh shit, I shit, because she'd be like the other side at gym, so other side at gym, and the and, well, lad talking, Jimmy'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, you, 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 you'd give her one, would you, Roger, eh? and then I'd, I'd look Roger. over, and I don't know what I'd said, and I was like, I, I was a virgin, remember? I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, but it was a it was a weird experience. Well, yeah. And then I was walking around, I lived in Barrow and Furnace at the time, so people would be shouting out the car, you want to cry and watch Danny Lad? And I'd be like, oh my god, it was a bit embarrassing, but yeah. <laughs> when it came, and when, and, oh and the moment when it came out, because you got to think TV, because you watch stuff, you had to watch it on the day, did you? Could, or did you ever get like a DVD copy of it or whatever? We all we, we got a takeaway, um, <laughs> and me and all my family all watched it. Oh, yeah. that's nice. What yeah. takeaway though? Sorry. Um, it's Chinese. How long were they filming it for? How long were they filming it for? It was over like three months. Yeah. Three yes. months? Yes. I went to, in the documentary, like I went and um, competed at the Mr. Universe competition in Germany um, and then did loads of, but the thing is as well, when you get a camera in your face at 16 years old, yeah, yeah. I, I just started trying mm. shit as well. And yeah. what, what are you eating? So I was like, uh, and, uh, 12 o'clock, I'll have fish general. Because you don't know what to say. And then they'll say, <laughs> say this. And then they want you to say something. Just repeat it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So no wonder I look, and there's some parts of it. And why don't you tell us about this? And it's something like, I can't explain. And I, I watched the documentary. I'm just, I cringe so yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's just, it was a weird experience. <laughs> no, that is funny. What, what, the other question was, so when it did kind of take off a couple of years <clears> later, <throat> did they ever get back in touch with you? Did, you? did anyone who filmed that day just reach out to you? Or is that kind of it? They just no, left you I feel it? like they've just left me to it. And then, yeah, and then, I think the fish and rice cake clip was is bigger than the documentary or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 100% bigger yeah, than the uh, documentary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fish and rice cake. <laughs> That's class, that. Uh, we're coming to the end of the podcast, Ali. You've been an absolute wonderful guest. Uh, people want to keep up to date with you or just see what you're up to with your barbershop, etc. You've got some socials that people can follow you on. Um, yeah. Uh, Danny Andrews, which is my name. Um, <laughs> on Facebook and... Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah. Yes. So if I type in Dead Andrews, am I getting you straight away? I th yeah, but I think there might be an underscore or something like that. <laughs> there could be a couple end. of other Somewhere. Danny Andrews but, but as I feel well. That, I feel that I'm, the, the, yeah, I reckon. What's your, uh, what's your barbershop on um, That's Danny's Barbers. Danny's <laughs> Barbers. Danny's <laughs> Barbers. I think, I think, I think, I think it'd be simple if you want, if you want to yeah. follow, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Final question for everyone. If you had to eat fish and a rice cake every day, how long, how many days would you last? Jeez. One. One day. No, two up. days, two days. But you're going to get something at the end of it. Oh, right, yeah. So it's we put a wager on it? Yeah, you can get <clears throat> get £1,000 a day. Oh, I'm doing it then. £1,000 a day. I don't day. know, is that too much? Oh, my God. You 500 quid a day to eat fish and rice oh, cake. absolutely. A couple of months. Yeah, I reckon. Really? Yeah. But you, you know, you'd know, be struggling though, wouldn't you? Would you? I, 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 could, I could do it. I could do it. It's <laughs> a job, innit? Can you cook it different ways or just have to have it just... I used to get inventive, wouldn't I? I just used to burn it. So I didn't like fish, did I? She couldn't taste it. Burn the taste. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Tim, how long could you last? I think I could do a month. A month? Just. Yeah, about. I'd probably do a month. You're bored though, wouldn't you, Steph? You've got yeah. to think. Yeah, but if you get right 500 quid a day. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's cool. You just man. go to loads of different restaurants after. I'll be driving around in my ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> I go. think that wraps the podcast up perfectly. Uh, listen, this has been Steph. Hello, goodbye. T Hello. <laughs> um, there we go. Steph, thank you very much, Tim. Hello. Yes. Bonjour. <laughs> Danny, you've been such a wonderful guest, mate. Thank you very much for coming on. Appreciate Go it. check out all of his socials as well. Uh, uh, leave a comment. How long could you last just eating fish and a rice cake? <laughs> uh, I've been Joe. Uh, see you soon as well. <laughs> Subscribe, like, <laughs> listen again. Just keep listening to us. Just keep doing it. Build up the numbers. Yeah, Cheers. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Everyone wave. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs>